A young American from Pennsylvania dreams to take the universal message of Jefferson's American Declaration of Independence and the principles of the American Constitution to the four corners of the world. But he gets stuck in Afghanistan for almost 20 years as the first American to set foot in that strange land. This explosive novel takes readers back 175 years to the first Anglo-Afghan War, which took place in 1839 to 1842. Only Dr. Bryden, an army surgeon, survived out of the 13,000 to 20,000 Kabul garrison of the British Army of Indus. The British succeeded in a regime change of the two Afghan kings swapping residences, but failed to conquer its people. Two years after King Dos was deposed, his 23-year-old son, Prince Akbar, returned to Afghanistan to fight the Shah and the British, accompanied by his American comrade-in-arms. This great hero of Afghanistan was poisoned and died at age 29 as the Grand Wazir of King Dost. Prince Akbar was buried in the North's Blue Mosque, still attempting to unite the North with the South. It's said that those who forget history are condemned to repeat it. Such does not mean that in the present case of Afghanistan, history is absolute and unalterable. Afghans, more than anything else, love liberty, their dignity, and respect of their customs and their religion. An old Afghan proverb says, You can take an Afghan to hell with kindness, but you cannot take him to paradise by force. This is how the first American in Afghanistan won the hearts and minds of Afghans and came to be called the American Prince, earning the title of an Afghan Sardar. Available at Amazon.com and other online retailers, as well as directly from the publisher.